Y'all get ready, we about to do a Q&A, baby! What's up, guys? It's DJ Daddy, and this is gonna be a more chill sit-down video than the type of content I normally make. It's a Q&A, but I don't have enough followers to actually answer your guys' questions, unfortunately, so I'm just going to be using a random generator to come up with the questions, and then I'll be answering those. If you guys don't know, I've hit like a couple milestones on my channel recently. I have over 300 subscribers now and over 400 videos, so I thought this might be a good time to like introduce myself if we've got some new people joining the channel. Shout out to the University of Washington. They're, they're ducky. It's a vibe. Anyways, let's see what my first question is. When people come to you for help, what do they usually want help with? Homework. <laughs> and it's mainly my brother, actually only. Nobody comes to me for help, they know. They know I'm not the person. <laughs> what is on my bucket list this year? I wanna be in a play or like a performance of some sort. Cause I, like, I just have fun with that stuff. So if I only had one possession, what would it be? <laughs> it's gonna be my baby blanket because we can never let go. Oh my gosh, why are these questions actually kind of fire though? So if I were a vegetable, oh my gosh, this there's so much to think about with this one. I think I made, did I make a video of my favorite vegetable or was it fruits? Even if this is different than what I've already said before in a different video, my current favorite vegetable, I think it's gotta be mushrooms. Sorry guys, if you don't like mushroom. If I were a vegetable myself, I don't think I would want to be a mushroom. I think I'd want to be something like feisty, like a, like a really hot pepper. Cause like nobody really wants to eat you then. So like you're pretty much safe. What am I a natural at? I guess you could say making videos, but I don't think that's true to be honest. <laughs> if I could live in a book, TV show or movie, what would I want to live in? Oh my gosh, so many options here. Do I want to go to something like fantasy where it's like completely like separate from this world? Or do I want to do something that's like set in pretty much like the earth we, we know and love? Put me on Barney. Let's get lit. I think something that's just like the real world except for like the people are funnier. In TV shows, it's like every episode something fun happens. One of the places that I really wanted to apply to was Walmart and Target. I didn't, like, they didn't want me, but that's making me want to say Superstore because I feel like it's just really fun. Like, the relationship that all the characters have, it's like you wouldn't be bored and it's work. So it's like, if you're having fun at work, like that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good time. Do I ever sing when I'm alone? Um, what songs? <laughs> yes, I think, why would you not? Why would you be playing music and then just like not sing? That sounds kind of lame to me. This random generator was like a 10 out of 10, honestly. Those were some pretty, pretty nice questions. I could see myself, like if I was in an awkward situation, need some questions, just like, <sighs> and then, you know, that starts a conversation. I guess I'll link all the random word generators below because, you know, you can make your own rankings. Try them out yourself. Where's the last place you've been where you felt completely out of place? I'm trying to think of a place where I wasn't out of place. <laughs> what animal best reflects my personality? Um, I want to say cats because they're my favorite, but if we're thinking about this, I need like a loner creature, but that's like kind of whack. <laughs> Maybe a rabbit raccoon. <laughs> what are my top five snacks? Number one, flaming hot ruffles. Number two are these nuts. Like I literally get these nuts for Christmas every year because they're also so rare. Why is everything that I like so rare? Number three, bear apple chips. But the red ga gala apples, are they called gala apples? I don't know, just the red ones, no cinnamon. Number four, it's like a fruit bar, but it's literally just the one, my favorite of the kind is mango and apple. And it's just mango and apple. And finally, um, fruit and nut granola bar, kind of basic. But you gotta, gotta have a good granola bar that you can always count on to be there. What activity do you do where your mind wanders and thoughts the most? I would say running, biking, also in a weird way, writing. But then it's just, it's not like wandering thoughts, it's like so many thoughts about what I'm writing. Reading too. What have you been thinking about lately that has kept you up at night? At the moment, it's been my film project that I'm doing for my Com 2250 class. We keep having to like rewrite the script and change characters and everything. Memories before five. 
yes, I feel like four is when I started to get like pretty good solid memories. I have no recollection of pre-Sam existence. I remember time with my cat in the bath, which is kind of weird. We, we made a big deal out of baths. When my mom was running, she used to push me in the stroller. So I remember that. I remember getting gummy bears in there. Do I remember what the first school report you wrote was about? Um, so can you hear Sam drumming in the background? 20 minutes later. So I'm gonna answer this one with the first assignment that I had to do like in school, in kindergarten. Like the first day we had to come in and journal something fun about our summer. And it was just like we had to write a whole sentence. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but the best part was that my teacher had a stamp and she'd stamp it with a date after she was like, yeah, you did it. And so that was just like the most magical thing was the stamp. Yeah. And then shortly after that, we had like a little test to see where we were, you know, coming in at in kindergarten and one of the things we had to do was count from like down from 10 to 1 and I thought I did so good yeah so I missed seven okay these questions were also good yeah I think it it would be a 10 out of 10 but it didn't have the duck so we're gonna do a 9.5 for that generator so if I could be the mayor what I want to be the mayor Heck yes, I understand that's a lot of responsibility. And I don't know a lot about how to be in that position, but I'm pretty sure I could figure it out. What board game do I like the most? Game of Life is good because I feel like it, it has a story, you know? I really like how these questions pop in, by the way, like the animations they did on this. Oh my gosh, that's gonna make the, the points go, go up for them. If I could rid the world of one disease, what would it be? It's like a lot of pressure, like, um, so is cancer a disease? Cause I know there's so many different types of cancer, but if we could just get rid of cancer, that would be really helpful. What is my favorite day of the week? So I don't understand how it could not be Saturday. Like Saturdays are the best. Actually, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love to contradict myself. I'm gonna go with Sunday. I know it's shocking, right? But since I've been in college and like, I don't go into campus on Mondays. So it kind of feels like an extension of my weekend. And it's like Sunday is the middle day of my weekend. And I also don't run on Sundays. So I like kind of get a sleep in, relax, do whatever all day. Most of the time it's like, editing videos because I'm like shoot I should have uploaded yesterday it should have been done but like we just didn't get to it if I inherited or won a million dollars what would I first do obviously the first thing I do we're creating an account that I can you know just keep making money from my money <laughs> but then the first thing that I would like buy I feel like I would go travel somewhere where did my family go on vacation I guess this is talking about last summer well there are vlogs so many vlogs from last summer because we were still living in Italy then. Obviously we moved here at the end of the summer, but like lots of Europe stuff to try and get all of that in there before we came back to America. I am also going to rate that one a 10 out of 10 because animation, press start. Oh, and it fades in too. Am I afraid of animals? Uh, no. Ooh, this is it like a British site or something? Cause it's like favorite. <laughs> Love the Sister of the Traveling Pants series. The author of that, Anne Bracharas, she also did My Name is Memory. That's a really good book too. Colleen Hoover is really popular at the moment, but I've kind of realized that she's kind of eh. Yes, I want entertaining, but I also want there to be some sort of theme or like message behind the book. The Mortal Instruments series. Um, by Cassandra Clare. There's like so many millions of those books. I haven't read them all. What country would I like to visit? Definitely Australia or New Zealand and or New Zealand. Those places. Because that's like a whole new continent that I've never been to. What professions are overpaid and underpaid? Okay, underpaid? <laughs> Teachers. Teachers need more money. <laughs> like, they deserve more money. Overpaid? I'm sorry, but I think it's like sports. Can we say it's a little excessive? What kind of job would I hate to have? Any assistant, like having to be like getting coffee and whatever one person wants. What do I recycle? Paper. 
I'm pretty sure that's like all you can recycle in America. In Italy, it was way more organized. Do I have a healthy diet? I feel like, yeah. I eat a lot, but I, I think it's pretty balanced. What did I last read? Okay, more book questions. On the way back from my spring break trip, <laughs> I ran out of books. So I needed to buy a new one at the airport to read like on the way back. <laughs> I got a Colleen Hoover book for very expensive called Ugly Love. Do not read it, it's not good. What websites do I visit? YouTube is a website. So definitely that, my school email, Quizlet, for studying purposes. What makes me laugh? My brain, no. <laughs> but, so it was like raining a lot earlier, like so much. I've never like driven in that much rain before. Like my windshield wipers, front and rear, were on to the max, like, speed and i still couldn't see but it's just this one person um like in the parking lot and they were like on their scooter but they were just stood there in the rain like just like and it was just like the face of the most regret so <laughs> i don't know why i think that's funny where will my next holiday be since this is british i'm assuming it's meaning vacation just, just a translation for the Americans out there. It's gonna be in the summer, and it's gonna be going to England, yes. What do I like about the town or city where I live now? I like that people are so active. Like, you go outside, you see people walking their dogs, riding bikes, doing their own thing, and it's like, it's like cool to be exercising. And it's like so pretty here too. That one's also a 10. <laughs> this question is so like, high school lunch, but you're sitting with like an acquaintance, it's like, are you doing anything fun this weekend? I have a meeting for a club that I'm in. Yeah, and see, then in like school, that's like my answer. And then it's like, oh wow. That was around 15 seconds that we have spoken. <laughs> so now what do we talk about? What is my favorite dessert? Okay, well we got into the snacks. Now let's get into the desserts. <sighs> Gather around. I feel like this is very food <laughs> central, this video but we're gonna talk about it. Chocolate over candy, 100 million percent. But my all time favorite dessert is a cupcake because it's just like the frosting to cake ratio. That is correct. I am a very much, give me your frosting. Like if you don't like frosting, give it to me. How could you not like frosting? What weird food combinations do I like? So it's not that weird. Fries, you dip them in marinara sauce. I don't like ketchup, but fries and marinara sauce, it's like, it gives calamari. It's the calamari effect is what I like to call it. If I was given three wishes, what would I wish for? The good old, <laughs> I wish for more wishes. World peace, happiness for everybody. And third wish, I'll free the genie, why not? <laughs> How do I think the world will end? Nukes. How many email addresses do I have? Three. What did I do last weekend? Well, last weekend was Easter, you know, good old egg hunt, good food. Oh, and I filmed <laughs> with my uh, filming group. What's the first thing I noticed about a guy slash girl? So I'm assuming this is talking about, is this talking romantic or am I just making it romantic? But for a guy and a girl, the first thing I notice is their clothes. Then probably like their body language. I pay a lot of attention to hair as well. It has to be appearance based though, because like you, in order to go for like the, oh, their personality stuff, you need to get to know them. But I do also like to see how they interact with other people. I do watch out for that. I do be looking. So this generator was the most basic of all of them. I will give it an 8.72539. Oh guys, this one has the sparkles. I love that emoji so much. I overuse it. What is my favorite store? Primark. <laughs> it's not great for the environment. I'm aware. But I literally do wear my clothes until they fall apart and have multiple holes. Do I prefer to avoid or confront conflict? 100% confront it because otherwise I'm going to be thinking about it and like analyzing every single conversation and thinking about, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what did I say wrong? What did I do wrong? Or like, how can we fix this? So you just gotta confront it. How many shoes do I call? I have around 10 pairs of shoes. Favorite is of course Crocs. Do I have any short-term goals? I definitely have goals for this channel to, you know, like keep uploading consistently. 
want to hit 1,000 subscribers this year, which may not be possible, but you guys can help. You guys can do it. I, be I do believe in us. I do have faith. Also get a job. That generator, I'm going to give a nine. We are going to do one more generator now, and this one, it has categories, so I've just selected open-ended questions. Do I like animals? <laughs> Yes. If I could have any career in the world, what would it be? I think a director. Or, okay, I mean ideally. I think being an actor would be really fun. I don't want to be famous though, because that's the thing. I don't, I don't like the idea of paparazzi, like, coming at me all the time. What is my zodiac sign? Or what is my sign of the zodiac? I'm a Leo, I'm the first day of Leo. That's my, I think my sun sign. I don't know my other signs. Sorry guys, but I don't believe in zodiac signs. The position of the sun and the moon when I'm born, I don't think it has anything to do with my personality. What's my favorite color? It's purple. I like all shades of purple too. Cause I feel like with other colors, like with pink, there's like the bright pink that's like, ah, no. What's my favorite type of food? Italian, for sure. But like Italian, Italian, like bring me back to Italy. Do I have any kids? <laughs> um. No, I don't. I don't have any kids. One day though, I hope to have kids. Do I have a preferred cooking method? I like how it includes microwave because I'm going to choose that. I have a microwave meal like every day. It's probably not healthy. Do I have a healthy diet? I feel like, yeah. What are some of my other hobbies? I think this is gonna be our last question because I feel like it's a good place to end. So besides video, reading, running, like exercising. So I'm gonna rank Survey Sparrow at a nine. I had really fun time actually sitting down and just talking to you guys one on one. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new about me. And maybe next time, if I have enough people, we can actually do this with real questions. So maybe comment down below if you have any more questions and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye. And now it's snowing, guys. Like, this morning, I went running, and it was sunny, and it was raining like crazy, and now it's snowing. That's Colorado for you. It's already started to melt a little bit, but this is what it looks like now. It's giving shaving cream, am I right?